And the topic of this program today says enjoying the wonders of God. Somebody say enjoying the wonders of God. I didn't hear you. Say enjoying the wonders of God. If you want to enjoy the wonders of God, say it louder. Let me hear. Enjoying the wonders of God. Now hear me. When you want to talk about wonders, you're talking about what God has done. What the hands of the Lord has made. When you want to talk about the wonders of God, it is when you have seen God's evidence in your life, you can stand sure and tell anybody that these are wonders of God in my life. Then when I look at and understand what wonders means, wonders are like a mysterious thing that happens to you. You don't even know how it happens, but you know that something good has happened in your life. Then for you to enjoy the wonders of God in your life, that means you need to attract favor from God. There's something I need to tell you to understand. A lot of people see favor that God will wake up and favor me. Sir, I have discovered that for you to get a bigger favor from God, you will attract it. Hello? I said for you to get a favor, a big favor, in your life from God, you will do what? Attract it. What do I mean by the word attracting? That means there must be something about you that you do that God loves so much that makes him to favor you. And Abraham found favor in the sight of God. My brother, it is not just ordinary. There, must, there was something about Abraham that caused God to favor him. Job found favor in the sight of God. There was a spirit of res resistance that he resisted the devil by all means that made God love him and he found favor in the sight of God. The kind of favor that a man desires and deserves on earth is attracted. It doesn't just come like that. There must be something that you do that brings those favors to you. There must be sacrifices your pets here yeah, that God has looked upon and decided to bless you. Look at the life of Hezekiah. Satan never said Hezekiah you will die. It was God that said Hezekiah, you shall do what? Die. When Hezekiah ran to God, the Bible says he began to remind God those things he has done for who? He has done for God. And when God looked at the side of what Hezekiah has done for him, God now decided to favor Hezekiah with so many years of long life. And the Bible didn't say it was only life that he gave Hezekiah. The Bible says that he equally blessed who? Hezekiah and his what? Generation. Hear me. When you want to attract favor, when you want a major favor to come to you, there must be something you have done that attracts the favor. Brother, if nobody has told you, I'm telling you now, favor do not just come like that. There is a foundation. There is something that will attract it. There is something you have done for God that God will look at and decide to favor you. Go and look at all the histories of the people in the Bible. Everybody God has favored had something they did that made God fall in love. He decided to favor them. Touch your neighbor and say, favor is attractable. <laughs> I didn't hear you. Tell your neighbor, I can attract favor from God. Let me give you some of my testimonies. When I was nobody, I broke the heart of God because I never knew I was doing it for God. At that time. What did I do? Do you know that the scripture says when you take care of the poor, you are blessing God. Is that correct? You are giving God. Is that correct? One day he will give back to you. When I was living in one room, there was nothing much in the one room. Just carpet and... Do I have foam that time? Okay, yeah, foam. On the ground. I saw a lot of young men and women that had nothing doing. They don't have a place to sleep. You have seen one of them in, in our church here. Evangelist Simo, the one man that is doing big boy. Uh, some of you that was sharing testimony has bought a car, built a house, do this. That time he was sleeping in a car, in a bus. I said, I don't know you, I don't know where you came from, but come and stay with me in my one room. 
My cousin were there with me in my war room. Then Chief Mobin went and brought extra two people. They are friends. They came and joined me in my war room. My cousin's sister, she called it. She's not here. Went and brought her own friend again and put in the war room. We were almost eight. In the night, sometimes I will find on the seat and sit. They will lie there because the room is very small. Hello, church. I never knew that what I was doing was touching the heart of God. Because I never had, but I was a sacrificer. I never had, I was a giver. Let me tell you, it's not only when God has given you that you will give. When you are nobody, you can give, brother. Let me tell you, some people will wake up if you ask them, they were asking you to give 10,000 in your church. You say, ah, I'm a poor man. I don't have that money. Let me tell you, you're not supposed to use that word. Brother, if you see a poor man, you will thank God because of your life. Hello? If you see somebody that is poor, hello, you will give thanks to God concerning your life. Brother, I have seen poor people. I have seen them. When you see poor people, die. When you come to church, you will dance like crazy. Because you live in one room, you say you're poor. I have seen men that in a day that cannot afford money to buy pure water. For them to drink pure water, they will beg five naira to drink pure water. You, you have opportunity to put your head somewhere. You have opportunity to eat three square meals in a day. And because you have not bought a car, when they ask you why you say you're poor, my brother, when you see people that are poor, you will not repeat that you are poor. The question is, what have I done that can attract God's favor in my life? Whenever in life you meet grace, people God has given a large grace to move in a level of, a, a kind of level. Let me say, you don't need to miss the opportunity. I was showing Pastor Deme of a favor the church got. If I tabulate that favor, is a favor of almost 100 million if we change it by cash. Now somebody will say, what has this young boy do to attract such favor? My brother, there are sacrifices I've laid when I was nobody. I have equally discovered that the sacrifices you lay when you are nobody attract a bigger favor than the sacrifices you lay when you are somebody. Hello, church. I said the sacrifices you lay when you are nobody. Is you know, there was a time we came here to pray. Before we finished praying, Deaconess went and, and cooked and brought yam, plantain, mixed it, vegetable, and brought. She had no money, but she was hungry to feed the because they were doing something in the church. When the fable will start, they will say one of his children has done juju. My brother, the mother had just paid a price somewhere. I have studied and I have seen how it works. And I can bet you that I may test money to such miracles. Now, the program we did in over on on Thursday, some people were calling me. They said we, we were watching your channel TV. But the program was live on TV. So when I came down, somebody sent me something on WhatsApp. When I read it, I started laughing. Let me tell you, my brother, all the benefits of things you see me receive now are the sacrifices I've led when I was nobody. He paid the debt. He did not owe. I owe this debt. I could, I could not, not pay. pay. I needed someone to watch my sins away. But now I can sing a brand, a brand new song. Amazing grace. Lord Jesus, pay the that I could never pay. So when I look at those sacrifices, I made when I was nobody, I discovered that my somebody is because I was banking in the in the bank of God when I was given the poor. 
and went to social media to read. A man of God was raising money. A lot of people came and they were, they were laying curses on the man of God. Why will he go to a church and raise money? And I started laughing. And I said, you know, as long as you can buy a phone, 10,000, and buy that 100 naira, you can say anything from your house. No be so. Church, no be so. Even phone, 7,000 self can do the thing too. 5,000 naira on to a 4,000 self. Hey! Somebody will now borrow 100 naira and begin to talk rubbish. Let me tell you, there are so many ways to so. There are what they call kingdom building. That is where you sow your finance to sponsor the work of God on earth, which is the payable. There's seed you sow for the poor, helping the less privileged. There are things about your title. And there are another seed you can sow to your man of God. And that is why the Bible says, He that giveth a prophet a cup of water shall receive a prophet's reward. Now, the reward that will come on that is not God, it is prophet. The prophet has been bestowed with a grace of prosperity. That is why the Bible says, When you believe in God, you shall be established. But when you believe in your prophet, you shall prosper. So, every genuine prophet carries an option of prosperity that he can transfer to you and you will prosper. So when you see somebody sowing for kingdom purposes, it's not a sin. When you see somebody sowing to give to the poor, it's not a sin. When you see somebody sowing to bless his pastor, it's not a sin. If you have not done something that can change or attract favor to you, you have done nothing in life. Because when you look at yourself from beginning to end, nothing changes about you. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor, wake up. I can't hear you. Say neighbor, wake up. Say neighbor, wake up. I've shared this testimony here before. There was a day somebody knocked on our door and he said he needed 10,000. The woman came and is carrying a baby. By then I've asked my wife, do we have food at home? She said, yes, there is food. So I now saw that seed and gave the person 10,000. In the afternoon, you know women from 12-1. She now said that she wants to go market that there is no food. She said, which kind of should be this one? I thought there is food. She said to me, that there was food in the morning to eat. That's what she meant. So nothing, uh, there's no money now. Do you know before three o'clock, I went out, I came back with money. She didn't know how I make the money. What happened was that after that argument and there was no hope for any money, I got an alert of one million as a seed. Ten thousand transformed to one million and let me tell you anywhere you see anywhere you go and they demand for kingdom support it is better you do a kingdom support than you go to a party and do a party support it is better you do a kingdom support that you even go to a wedding and begin to spread it's even better you do a kingdom support, kingdom support is, if, let me tell you without money you cannot run a church Without flyer, some people might not know that Jesus will be preached here. And that's why anywhere you go in your life, if you want to continue enjoying the wonders of God, you must be a giver. Give to the poor, give to the privileged. Bless your pastor. When I look at those things, I laugh at the same time. I, I was something came to me. You know what the person said? He said to me, all these things you do, you give to church, you do this, is very wrong. My pastor doesn't do it. I won't mention the name of his pastor because he's a very popular pastor. He said, I walk in the altar of my pastor, my pastor doesn't do it. He spoke and this, this and that. I said, okay, I've heard you. The truth is that the way you are called is not the way I am called. If I don't give, I will have this burden that I've done the most for them. I have the burden to give, immediately it comes in. Even in this church, when I am blessed, some of you will know because you will see that 
I will be sharing like as if say I don't go hit one billion somewhere. Some of you that have studied me. Amen, church. So, being a kingdom partner, supporting the race of the kingdom, has never been a sin and cannot be a sin. And when God wants to bless your attack will come. I was discussing with chairman this morning and I said to him, do you know that after the directives that has been given, that so-so uh, thing should be released to the church, the commission in charge refused to do that. I just came in yesterday night. I was there to make sure I was even shouting. It was with cro 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 cro. The other one asked me, "What am I going to use such property to do?" The other one asked me, "What are you going?" You know those kind of stupid, unnecessary questions. I said, "But you saw is the name of church there. Why are you asking me such questions?" Because some of them has tabulated it and know what the worth of the finances could be. But let me tell you, they never knew that these are sacrifices somebody has laid somewhere. And the favor has come upon him. So no matter whatever you battle to stop him, he is what? Unstoppable. And let me tell you, if you have not been a giver, try to learn it from today. If you don't know how to give to God, try to learn it from today. More you do it, more blessings you receive. If you have access to the less privilege you give them. When you have access to uh, homeless, uh, you know, people, you give them. When you have access to somebody that is poor, you give. Because time shall come when I and you shall die and leave all the things we have made here on earth. Is that correct? Is that correct? So I want you to be, have this kingdom, be a kingdom-minded person. That whatever you give in the church is not in vain. Most especially in our church here. That we are not uh, business people. You know there are a lot of churches that are business people. Is that correct? Yes now. There's a lot of churches that are business people. So when you identify one, you give with your whole heart. When the blessings shall come. That is the blessings in Psalm 23 verse 5. He said the Lord shall bless you in the presence of your in Dengosia. 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 He said the Lord shall bless you in the presence of your what? Enemies. I want you to rise up on your feet now. I was, I was ministering I was ministering to our resident pastor in Oklahoma when I met them newly he was just a taxi driver I said you have an anointing in your life I need to provoke it but the Lord said I should bless you for you to make money he started laughing and when they needed for me to pray I wanted to pray the angel spoke loud and clear he said let them show a seed to you and you know that kind of prophecy there is no way you will deliver it I'm not too comfortable when I would say, give me money, give me. You know, I don't like that. And I boldly said, the Lord said, you should sow a seed to me. He said, how much is it? I said, you're going to sow a seed of $500. He looked at the wife. Both of them started laughing. When I prayed for them, finish. You know what they told me? <laughs> they see they have that kind of money now. Now what they will use it for. So everybody started laughing. But because of the conviction of the testimonies they've had, they now decided to go and get that money. When they came to me, they said to me, Daddy, we borrowed this money to give you. Hear this. The message was not for them to give to the church. It was for them to give me so I go eat. Into this belly. They gave me the $500. Then I made up my mind to put it in my pocket, bring it out and give them back. Because I was not comfortable. And when I put it back, I wanted to, something, spoke, the Lord spoke to me. I had a very clear voice. Say, don't. Then I stopped. Six months later, God opened a new door for them. Some of you have seen them in this place more than three times, right? Eh? 
They came and shared their testimony. Their door opened. They started a company. They have about two companies now. They have about two houses in the U.S. He has finished building in Enugu, one of the biggest houses in their village. And today, he's no longer a Taisi driver. But at that particular time, there was no money. They had to borrow to give. Your sacrifices is not in vain. Whatever you have given concerning the kingdom can never be in vain. And may the Lord bless the hands of your words. Lift up your hands. I want to bless you this morning. Say, my father, give me the grace and the spirit to be a kingdom giver. And as I began to give, oh Lord, favor me so that your wonders shall continue to play in my life. So that in my life, I will continue to enjoy the wonders of God. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus, the Lord of prayer. Open your hands for you. I prophesy to you. Every instrument you need to be a blessing to somebody, I provoke that blessing to locate you in the name of Jesus. I didn't hear you. I said every instrument of blessing that you need to bless somebody in your village. Here, God needs to walk through you to affect your community. I don't know if I'm talking here. I said, God needs to walk through you to affect your community. Church, let's do this prayer. Let's do this. Give me my phone. There was a test I received. I want to read that test. We need to pray for some people now. I want to talk about bonus test. Give, me, give it to me. I received this test in the morning. Bonus test. I received this test in the morning and the test says, please pray for my people. My village Lhasa is under attack now by Boko Haram. This test came in okay, I think it's late in the evening yesterday, 22.56 that's 10, that's to 11. I think I've slept that time. Slept early because of journey and stress yesterday. So we're going to pray for bonus state. That every attack by Boko Haram, every attack by Boko Haram, you know, there is one thing heavens and earth were made by God. God can silence this and the enemies will pack and run away. Is that correct? All the people in that community mentioned there, I don't know where it is. I don't even, even if I mentioned that community very well. But we're going to pray that the finger of God shall come upon them. That the strategy of those book of Haram to destroy life there shall not stand. Say my father, every strategy in the name of Jesus by Boko Haram to destroy that particular community in Bonu State, it shall not stand. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Pray, 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 pray. In Jesus, the Lord, we pray. Church, I want you to respond a louder amen. In Jesus, the Lord, we pray now. That I pray that every attack of Boko Haram in the name of Jesus in this particular village shall not stand in the name of Jesus. God who 
not yet in the dark in the day. May he fight their battles. Amen. Protect God's people there. Amen. Deliver every soul that believes. Amen. That by the reason in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, God's people shall be saved. Amen. And the enemy shall be put to shame. Amen. In Jesus' name, Lord, we pray. Amen. Finally, say, my father, before the end of May, my story will turn to glory. Pray that prayer, pray that prayer. Child. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name, Lord, we pray.